Hey guys, Proper English here. If you follow my channel, you might have seen a video last week where I showed you an 8-bit Kagi Stone adder. That's a fast, real-life adder. It's pretty cool stuff. Now, I wanted to build one because I've been having some issues in some of my larger builds with pistons, all right? So I wanted to build an adder that was fast but didn't need pistons to be fast. So getting away from the whole Instacarry thing. Now, this is quite a bit bigger than an Instacarry adder, and it's not as fast, but it will never have any issues because it doesn't have any pistons. All right, so let's take a look at the speed. This is a 16-bit version, all right? So the 8-bit version's over there, but this is 16 bits, and I need this for a project that I'm working on. So it's 11 ticks, and we can take a look. Super fast, blazing fast. I mean, that, uh, that just, blew right by. So that was carrying across every single bit. We can take one more look at that, turn this off, and they all come back. And then we flip it again, and we carry. Pretty cool. So I needed a 16-bit version because I want to plug this in to an ellipse drawer that I'm working on. You might have seen a video that I did of version 1 of the ellipse drawer, all right? So it works, but like I said, I was having some piston issues, and I wanted to get around that by getting rid of all, or not all of the pistons, but a lot of the pistons in, in, the, uh, in the ellipse drawer. And so this is what I built. This thing is awesome. The way this thing is fast is kind of cool. It uses some fancy logic, all right? So in a normal ripple carry adder, you calculate the sum alongside the carry. So you kind of ripple along the whole thing and it, and it takes time. Uh, a fast ripple carry adder, um, it would probably take a good three and a half seconds uh, to complete a 16-bit addition, whereas this one's just taking um, just about one second, just a little over one second. And so the way this thing is fast is it calculates the carry before the sum, okay? So it doesn't need to know um, anything about a previous bit or, or the sum of a previous bit to be able to calculate the carry for any other bit. It just, uh, it uses the initial input to figure everything out, and it's really cool. I mean, I love this thing. Um, the wiring is kind of insane, especially in this two-wide version. I mean, we can look, it's, it's crazy in here. Doing this thing, oh man, building this thing was, was nuts. But, um, but it was also a lot of fun because it was a good challenge, one of the more challenging builds that I've done. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this guy. Now, I'm gonna be working on getting this into the ellipse drawer probably this weekend, and so hopefully I'll get that done. If you wanna follow my progress or check out any of my other videos, I've got a link to my channel in the description. I'm gonna be posting more here too uh, as the GPU project goes on. I'm gonna be posting some updates for that. It's coming along pretty nicely. And, uh, and yeah, so, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.